All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, let's go ahead and get popping. Holy spit, guys, I feel like you're all over the place. These cards are all over the place. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Aquarians, please. What messages do we have here for Aquarius, please? Tell me about Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Okay. So we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. What messages do we have here for Aquarius, please? Four of Swords in the reverse. There you are, Aquarian energy, King of Swords, Libra energy, Gemini energy, and we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. We've got the Five of Swords, we've got the Four of Cups, and we have the Ten of Cups. Under the deck, we've got the Four of Wands. Aquarius, I feel like what we're dealing with here is somebody that may quite possibly be going through a battle on whether they want to settle down or be in something committed. Because the Three of Cups can represent, I, I know we all know it could represent a third party, but it can also represent going out, partying, having a good time. You know, it, it could represent just wanting to celebrate all the time, all right? Now, with the Lover's card here, I see a strong soul type connection. I see this beautiful connection, but the problem is, you see this snake standing right here, and then I've got the Three of Cups right next to it. Do you understand? So this could be friends that like to, you know persuade you or your person hey let's go out like people that are bad influences um it could be that someone here has a drug addiction a drinking addiction a partying addiction um yeah i feel like what's happening here is is that someone is coming into a place where they're getting tired. They don't want to waste money on that anymore. They don't want to look back anymore. Um, Four of Swords in the reverse. This person is just over it. Like we're dealing with somebody here that's getting tired. With the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands, I feel like someone here is starting to exercise a little bit more control over themselves. Um, it used to be, uh, you know, the friends would say, hey, let's go out drinking tonight. And somebody was like, yeah, I want to go drink. Psh, I'm going to go, you know, without thinking about responsibilities, without thinking about, oh, you know, we have plans to do something tomorrow and wake up early. You know, no thought process. Oh, I just want, you know, yeah, sure. I want to go have a good time, you know, and someone would just go. Now with that King of Swords energy, I kind of feel... <sighs> that someone here is coming into a place of a little more self-restraint. Let me think before I act. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups, I feel like some people are not going to be happy about this. I feel like someone here is walking away from friends or maybe even another lover. You know what I'm saying? It could be that there was someone here that was dealing with two different people and one person and, and you know, someone has decided... I want to be committed to this one person, so I'm going to give my time and energy and commitment to this one person. Um, Five of Swords and the Four of Cups, I feel like someone here is walking away from something, and that's going to leave somebody feeling a little lonely, rejected, they're not getting attention. Um, we've got the Ten of Cups here and the Four of Wands with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor here. Um, yeah, I, I feel like Aquarius... Either you're walking away from somebody to go be in a more settled situation or someone's walking away from you. With the Three of Wands, the Moon, and the Nine of Swords here and the Seven of Cups, um, Aquarius, there may be either multiple people that are like, where the hell did Aquarius go? Or Aquarius, if this is your person, where the hell did so-and-so go? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? It may hurt some people that they're losing their play friend. You know what I'm saying? Um, and especially if this is a third party where there's sex involved, someone here's like, 
it, you know, like, I don't understand what happened. Why is the, why did this person fall off the grid? Um, because someone here, I feel, is stepping into a situation where they're choosing to settle down. Okay, they're choosing to settle down. Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages here for Aquarius. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aquarius. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. We have the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Lover's card, please. The Chariot in the Reverse Cancerian Energy. You see what I'm saying, Aquarius? Someone here was not making the right decisions. And whatever this snake was, whatever this third-party situation was, whether it's another guy, whether it's another girl, whether it's drinking, whether it's drugs, um, no matter what it is, it's being cut out of the picture. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in the Reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Four of Swords in the Reverse. The Five of Cups in the Reverse. So I feel that Spirit Aquarius, how can I put it? There's no regrets over the fact that this person did live you know, the lifestyle that they wanted, whether it was drugs, drinking, gambling, the fast lifestyle, maybe they were in a third party situation, whatever the case may be. Okay. I feel like there's no regrets here, but this person is ready to now get over that point in their life. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like someone is starting to realize I need to start investing my time and my energy into more successful decisions. Okay. Um, Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah, see, Four of Swords in the reverse. I feel, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yeah, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like someone here maybe goes out with their friends a lot or keeps their options open and cheats and dates a lot of other people. Um, but with the Four of Swords in the re reverse and the King of Swords, I feel like someone here is tired of needing to heal situations so like let's just say someone here goes out and parties they spend a lot of time recovering from a hangover or whatever and someone doesn't want to do that anymore um maybe someone here goes out with their friends they go do a bunch of crap they're not supposed to do and it hurts their relationship and a lot of time gets spent having to fix that okay um yeah see emperor here i feel like someone is stepping into Someone is, is preparing to settle down. Five of Swords here and the Four of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone has to choose where their true loyalty lies here, Aquarius, okay? Um, you know, it's kind of like this energy of, guys, listen, it's great to hang out with you. Or if it's other, you know, sexual partners, hey, guy, you know, it's great. It's been fun, but you're not who I want to you know, you're not, you're not my, the rest of my life. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not, you're not the person I'm going to marry. You're not the person I'm going to live with. You're not my forever situation. And that's why with the strength card here, I feel like someone here is, even if they want to go, do you see what I'm saying? They're going to practice self-restraint. Tell me about the four of cups here for Aquarius, the judgment card. There's a lot of people that are not going to like this decision. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are not going to like this decision. Ten of Cups here for Aquarius. Nine of Cups in the reverse. I feel that Aquarius, you may have people here that... Tell me more about this Nine of Cups in the reverse for Aquarius. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I, I feel like people... You may have third parties here, Aquarius, or your person may have third parties where they feel like they've missed an opportunity to work on things. This may be friends or whatever. It's going to leave the fact that someone here is deciding to settle down is going to leave a lot of people very unhappy. Yeah, they're, they're going to feel very unhappy that this is happening. Tell me about the four of wands, king of pentacles and the emperor. Yep, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Someone here is going to end up feeling scorned, bitter. You know, now this could be if you were sleeping with other people, if your person was sleeping with other people, friends, family members. P people are going to feel some type of way about the fact that somebody is making a firm decision to settle down. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm seeing here. 
So, I mean, it's good for the person that is being chosen. It's great, you know, so Aquarius, if your person is like all over the place and you find that they're gonna start being more stable, it's great for you, it sucks for everyone else. So Aquarius, you know, you place yourself as it resonates, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much and take care. Bye, my loves.